As more police departments begin equipping officers with body cameras, a new type of camera is being tested by cops nationwide. What makes it different is what, that it is mounted on a weapon and automatically turns on when the gun is pulled from the holster. Officers in Independence and Maple Plain will be some of the first in Minnesota to test it. They showed Angela Davis how it works. I'll be making contact with the driver. This simulation of a high risk traffic stop shows what a camera mounted directly on a police officer's gun could record. Put your hands on the steering wheel. Put your hands on the steering wheel now. The weapon mounted camera is built so that as soon as I take the weapon out of my holster, it automatically comes on. It eliminates the risk of the camera not being turned on, as we saw in the high profile case of Justine Damon, who was shot and killed by a Minneapolis police officer who didn't activate his body camera. It also offers an unobstructed view. And then also a lot of times we'll see where an officer's uh, arms or hands will come up in front of the camera and block that view as they hold a weapon in front of them. Sergeant Rick Dennison is one of three officers with the West Hennepin Public Safety Department who will take part in a pilot program beginning in November. The department was approached by Viridian Weapon Technologies in Maple Plain to test their weapon-mounted cameras in the field. One of the criticisms of the technology is that it doesn't capture the interactions that lead up to an officer pulling out his or her gun. But Sergeant Dennison says the cameras mounted in their patrol cars and the wireless microphones on officers' bodies provide that. I think it's uh, better video at the high level use of force times, audio and video captured from a pretty much unobstructed view at the end of the weapon to see what's happening. Sergeant Dennison says the cost is about $500 a camera, and they'll consider whether or not they're going to make these purchases after a three month trial period. It's about the same cost as a body camera. Now, Viridian says that uh, they are actually talking with other police departments across Minnesota, and they've actually reached agreements with departments in St. Petersburg, Florida, and Williams, Arizona, Frank, to launch pilot programs there. So they're looking at different sized departments across the country to see, you know, does it make a, a big difference for them? Uh, well, it's interesting technology for sure. Yeah, it keeps changing, keeps yeah. evolving. All right. Thank you, Angela. You're welcome.